Securing B. Oh yeah. Uh, get it. All right. On to A. Securing A. All right. Let's get let's get A. Oh yeah. Let's go up in this building and see who's here. Hello, camper. Oh, never mind. Check out this window. All right, let's go find somebody. I didn't see that guy up there for some reason. And boom! There we go. Whew. That was a long, that was a long-awaited kill. It's always the first kill that you, that you always want to get in the start of the match. Is that too common sense of a statement? I don't know. You know, when you start off a match, you feel like you just feel like you're you're on the top of the you're on the top of your game, and this could be the game. This could be the game where you go flawless, 100 and zero, flawless game, flawless victory. You never know. You have that Sandy Ravage moment where you're just like, um, you know what? I might be Sandy Ravage this game. Who knows? I don't I don't know. It's always Call of Duty is so unpredictable, and that's one of the things I love, and one of the things that I hate about it at the same time. But um. Yeah, so I just thought I'd give you a little bit more of uh, inside the mind of Mr. Phantasmo. Did that before for uh, a little tiny video, and people liked it. So that was my that was my theme music that I play at the beginning of every every match until I get a kill. Um, it's just something that that takes the edge off because when I'm not killing, I just get so frantic. Um, that that holds true in real life, and right here I actually do the uh, Nancy Duck and Tuck. I had a shotgun. And I knew that that guy was going to kill me, so I Nancy duck, duck and tucked right around there, and my partner was able to scoop him up, just like we had rehearsed in rehearsal previously. So I'm glad that he was able to, to pull through on that. But anyways, what's up, my Nuggets? As you can see in this video, I am using the Golden Model 1887. That's right. I made a little video about it before, saying that you'd see more of it, and here you go. This is a gameplay I got using it, so now you can see more of it. Um, just like I promised and that guy oh man I get killed by some real winners in this game I'll just I'll just put that right out there but um I decided to because normally I use uh, support kill streaks for um, shotguns because I run around like an idiot I decided to play a little bit more conservatively still get on, in on those points because I feel like that's what a close quarters combat gun like the shotgun is supposed to do and when you have a gold model you just feel like you're on top of the world all the time so um, so I played, I, I used a little bit smarter routes, I don't know, I really don't like to play smart at all, period, and then especially when I have a shotgun, I just feel like I should just be, you know, galloping around, like if there was a, there, if there was a way to gallop in this game, like even if it was a crazy button combination, like you had to mash all the buttons at the same time, and you'd like gallop, and you'd put like your left hand out in front and act like you're holding reins, and then with your right hand you'd like slap your butt behind you and be like, giddy up, giddy up, like you're, you're riding a, a non-existent horse. If you had to press down all your buttons in order to do that, and that's the only thing you could do in the game, I'd probably do it. But um, I don't know. I feel like with with the shotgun, I just should run around and be like derp derp because that's exactly what this guy did. Well, there's a plane. Let me shoot it. This guy. All right. My theme song is like did it did it. This guy's theme song. That guy that just killed me. I literally think he has a, like a cowbell. Like his theme song is just like a cowbell that's like tied to the tail of a cow because that's where cowbells really go and it's tied to the cow, tail of the cow and every time the cow moves or gets hungry and wants something to eat it just shakes its its tail and then the bell rings and then when the bell rings that's when he presses his knife button and kills me that's literally his theme song his theme song is a t towel a what i don't know anyways anyways you know what i wanted i just want to really reiterate the fact that i haven't said anything to begin with so there's nothing to reiterate but I also want to tell you guys that this golden model was not easy to get and that I have some tips if you want to get a golden model there's very easy tips um, they're kinda like one-step tips you do this you're guaranteed a golden model first of all you're gonna wanna find a really hot girl and I'm I'm thinking probably model status and you're gonna wanna get her to kiss you on the right butt cheek and what this is going to do is this is gonna stimulate you to want to play massive amounts of Call of Duty and not care about dying at all 
or anything and not also um, just only use a shotgun because that's what you're pretty much going to have to do especially if you prestige like right when you get to level cap like I do um, you're, you pretty, I pretty much had to use this model throughout my entire um, you know, level leveling up system. I unlocked it with um, one of my prestige tokens in the very beginning and I just used it throughout all of my levels and I finally got a golden and you're gonna die a lot. Um, this this gun is, is decent um, once you get the damage proficiency but you know there are several all, almost all the guns outclass it and uh, most of the shotguns outclass it as well so um, but first of all, if you want to, so you, you're going to want to find a model and you're going to want to have her kiss you on the left butt cheek. And it also helps if you paint her, spray paint works good, but um, lacquer, a lacquer finish would, would work best. And you're going to want to paint her just a, sh a, a shade of gold, just so you know, just so you're reminded as to what you're going for. And uh, I think that'll really help you. Also, um, if you just look like a model yourself, you'll have a you'll have an easier time finding these women to you know come and, and give you um, pecs on the bum skins. And um, in order to do that, there's pretty much only one step. If you want to look like a model in your life, no matter what you look like now, there's really only one thing that you can do. Therefore, there's only one thing that you need to do, and that, my friends, is to go over to the Mr. Phantasmo T-shirt store buy a t-shirt wear it then you know the rest the rest is self-explanatory the rest is yet to come the rest goes without saying and you'll be able to outsmart people just like this you see this I knew I, I had this guy's number the whole time I knew that I was gonna well okay I thought I was gonna kill him I thought I had him I thought I had him bested but anyways I just want to go a little bit more into the uh, t-shirts now that the game is over uh, but I made some new designs a couple nights ago I went on a design frenzy and I made like five different designs and they're freaking sweet and so now I have graphic design t-shirts so if anything even if you don't have any money even if you have no interest in buying these t-shirts at all I want you to go and visit the site the link is at the in the description and I want you to tell me what you think of the graphics on the shirts because um, graphic design is kind of part of the mass of what I'm majoring in in college. It's just it's just a part of it, but you know it's something that I that I shouldn't be terrible at. And I want you I want you guys' honest opinions. I also want you to know if you I'd also want to know if you have any more ideas for additional T-shirts. Um, I try to incorporate some some things um, in there from some, from things that I've said in commentaries. But if you guys have any ideas, feel free to put it in the comment section or tweet at me about it. Um, also, uh, I'm, I'm, in the, I'm in the process of going back through because a while ago when I did these t-shirts, um, when I had my first set of t-shirts, I asked if anyone had any extra or any designs that they wanted to make, they could send them to me. And I'm going back right now and I'm gathering all those. So, so designs that you had sent to me previously, if, you had, if you're one of those people, they will be getting put into the t-shirt store um, relatively soon. Also, if anyone else feels the need to um, you know want want to help me out or want to make a, a design for my t-shirt store you can send me the design um, at mr phantasmo at gmail.com and I can get it that way and then maybe you guys can get in the t-shirt uh, you know in the t-shirt shop with your design so if you if you're creative and you want to make a design feel free um, but but regardless I really want you guys to go check out check out the store if if nothing but to help help your old good buddy pal Mr. Phantasma out and tell him how he's doing um, it would really mean a lot to me and I just love you guys so you know that's that's really all I have to say so I will talk to you guys tomorrow it's Call of Booty tomorrow's Call of Booty that's all I'm saying alright this is a special one I'll see you guys later peace nuggets